Service Entry Sheet. What is a service entry sheet? Well, in the world of procurement, you have purchase orders for goods and you have service orders for services. Think of it when you bring your car to the garage, for example, you need some work done. Well, the garages will actually change the gaskets and the oil and maybe do some maintenance work in there. And all the descriptions around this time and material is filled into a service entry sheet in order to be reviewed and approved by the buyer. So let's look at the system. We're going to look in five step in red, the buyer side that will create an order. Then in blue, the supplier will create a service entry sheet. It will be reviewed by the buyer in order for the supplier to create an invoice in step four. And finally, the invoicing manager will approve. It starts with the buyer that creates a requisition. He goes into his procurement system, creates, for example, a free text order, adds the descriptions, add it to his cart, and proceeds to check out. At this point, this is where he's going to select this item and make it a service order. And for this, he needs to fill more information, such as maximum amount, and then he submits it. This requisition needs to be approved. So let's do some magic here and everybody has agreed and approved. And now it has become a purchase order into the system and the supplier should receive it. So let's move to the supplier or the seller. On his dashboard, he sees the same PO and all the details needed with the two part services here with the fountain work. So he's going to, he could create a confirmation, but he's going to create a service sheet because he did some work today. And this work was carried out by this person and the approver was uh, Michael Richard and, and all the information. And then in here at the bottom, he's going to add the material and the time. So let's start with the material. He's going to add items. And now this is interesting. This is a catalog on the supplier side. This is approved catalog items that he can use. And he selects a pipe here, puts it into his basket and brings it back to the service sheet. We now see it here. It's a pipe. So that was the material. Now let's do the work. He's going to look at labor. So he adds a second line under this service entry sheet for labor charges for five hours and goes to the next stage to review everything that he's done. So at this point, without going into too much detail, let's notice that a service entry sheet can have a hierarchy. For example, we can have a line number one and under this line, we have two material. We could have a line number two and other material. So this is if you do different kinds of services on different aspects, so it can get very industrial actually. So, so this is all done. So he submits it. And now he sees that it's partially serviced. He didn't consume all the money that was there or all not the service. He only consumed a part of it that has been sent to the buyer. So let's continue. Now the buyer, very simple here, receives the same document. Hey, there is a service entry sheet now from this supplier. He did some work. This is the work that is done. Do I agree? I verify internally. Are we satisfied? Yes, I approve and it's done. So at that point, we're in step number four, the seller can go back and see that it's been approved. He has a service entry sheet and he can select it and create an invoice from it. Now, all the details have been uh, pre-filled, every details from the service entry sheet and he add, needs to add maybe some tax information and things like this. But importantly here, all the details about the service entry sheets are ready to be invoiced. And this has been done automatically by the system. So he reviews all the invoice detail and everything and submits it. At this point, the work of the supplier is done. He just needs his payment. So let's finish this with the review of the whole process by an invoicing manager on the buy side. So the invoicing manager goes to his invoicing dashboard, sees the invoice that has come in. It is reconciling. So you can see the detail of this invoice in a PDF if he wants to. And let's notice that the reason that it's reconciling, there is a warning here. There is tax amount accepted. There was an auto acceptance of a tax level, but the system still wants him to approve this. 
he can look at the line item details and all the information about what was done in this line item at the line the header one and the line item details he can see the approval workflow and very importantly the reference here you see here this is a three-way match so you have an invoice matching a service sheet which is the equivalent of a goods receipt but a service sheet matching an order and this is the three-way match that is happening here in context of service so the invoicing manager is satisfied he opens this for approval he approves it and the process has been finished so from requesting a service order to having the supplier fill the work done receiving or agreeing to this uh, service uh, and letting the supplier invoicing us has happened and finally the invoice is cleared for payment in step number five and this was the new innovation of Ariba Procure2Pay and Ariba Network.